Hey, so today I'm going to be talking about pride, all right? More specifically, how we need to be aware of pride. It is a very slippery slope. Now, this isn't about we can't feel good about ourselves or we need to have this low um, self-image. That's not what this is about at all. But we have to be careful because all sin, you can really trace back to pride. Sin came into the earth, to, into the world because of pride. Satan fell from heaven because of pride. I feel like I deserve this. That's pride, right? And it's a very slippery slope. The Bible tells us so much. It has so much to say about being aware of pride and being being we, uh, leery or um, what's the word I'm, should, I'm looking for? Um, being cautious about our pride is the best way to put it. So you have to remember first and foremost, all glory belongs to God. If you're glorying in yourself, that's a big red flag. So yes, we can accomplish great things. You know, we just had the Olympics or having the Olympics. And um, those athletes, they're accomplishing. I mean, you really think about it, whether, it, it, you know, you were supporting the Olympics this year or not, whatever. But the point is, these athletes have worked hard to achieve what they're achieving. And they can feel good about that. But you know what? God gave them the ability to achieve these things. Yes, they had to show up for practice, but guess what? All these runners, these gymnastics, these, uh, these other things, God gave them the ability to do that. He gave them legs. He gave them arms. He gave them mind and the, the know-how and the, the determination, the patience, the, the endurance to do these things. God put all that together. And so, yes, they can be proud of hard work that they've done. God says in all labor, there is profit. But God ultimately is the reason, and he deserves all the glory. So be careful when in your comings and goings and, in, and when things are really going right in your life or maybe you've accomplished great things. It's awesome to be able to achieve those things, and you should feel good about that. But you cannot fall into the trap of thinking that you're the reason you're being able to accomplish all of these things. God is the reason. God gives everything. I talked about it before. We are just stewards of God's blessings. So all glory to him. Make sure as you go throughout your day, throughout your week, throughout your life, that you're constantly reminding yourself that all glory belong, belongs to God. Don't fall into the trap of thinking, I'm great. I'm so awesome. I don't need anybody because believe me, pride cometh before a fall. The Bible tells us that as well. And if we continue to give God all the glory and be thankful for his blessings, amazing things can happen in our lives. And that is the right mindset to have. And God can truly show his glory through a mindset like that. All right. So I love it. Appreciate you all. Today's short and sweet. Have a good one. And we'll see you back next week.